Alright you guys, today um, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to flash a uh, Holly Bro Hobbies uh, KK Multicopter version 5.5. This is the control board that Hobby King sells. This is the newest one I believe. Um, and then I'll just be teaching you of how to um, flash this with your computer. If you buy just the board itself, you do not get it. But um, there's this little USB ASP um, system. Uh, it came with mine, but I bought it with a quadcopter. So, um, and you just have to flash it and then download your firmware. So, this right here, uh, it, I think Hobby King sells it for like $5, which is a very good value because it saves you from spending $80 to get a new board every time you want to switch out. So, say, like right now, I'm starting out with multi rotors, so I have a quadcopter. Um, I feel comfortable with my quadcopter now, so versus buying a new board and and having to do that, because um, this is set up for an X configuration. Uh, now that I have one of these, I can just, which I will show you guys how to do this, plug it in, and now I can flash this with a tricopter config configuration. Um, and so that helps out so you don't have to spend as much money. Alrighty, so this is the board. Uh, on uh, flight test, um, Josh was talking about how to um, flash one of these, but I believe he was using the 3.0 version, the 3.5 version. I'm not sure. Well, I noticed that the because I followed his instructions to how to do this, but the version 5.5, it's not the same. Like on his, you guys can see the plugs right there. Um, is he'd say because you got the gyro board here and then the plugs right there he'd say plug it in this way which is how it would be correct on the version 3 but on the version 5 it's this way for ease of access so boom you're in alright so now I'm going to take you guys down and set you guys up on the computer alrighty so let me just drop the legs. So, sorry for the poor quality, but so, uh, all right. So, I have my laptop here. Um, I'll exit out of this. And just to show it, uh, that's it out. So you're going to have to go to um, kkmulticopter.com. So I'm going to go there real quick. Sorry for how slow this is. but um, So you want to go to uh, www.kkmulticopter.com. I already got in my thing. Um, kkmulticopter.com. Um, these guys are awesome. Um, they have all the um, firmware and flash tools you'll need for starting out with your first multicopter. And it just helps out making this a lot easier to use. Alright, so the first thing it's going to ask you to do is make an account. And Josh already talked about this. Um, so you're going to go in down right here. Um, and you're going to type in your account. Sometimes this process here takes a little while for it to actually load, but um, other than that, it works really good. So, sorry about this, but um, uh, you know what? Let's just stop that for a second. All right. So after you log in, uh, pretend I've already logged in. Um, you're gonna go up here to where it says home. Um, you get that in. Hang on. Okay, you can see my mouse. 
right there it says uh, KK Multicopter so you're going to click on that alrighty so now that you have clicked on that you'll have this list here you're going to go down to the bottom where it says software resources click on that alright now you have um, uh, article title um, you're going to go down one to KK Multicopter Flash Tools by Lazy Zero click on his all right, then you can. Then you're gonna download this. I've already downloaded it, and up oh, it will come right here, no, well, somewhere on your screen. You're gonna click on that. It's gonna open up this little menu screen. You're gonna go down until it says right here, um, KK Multicopter Flash Tool with a Windows command. Bring this up full. Um, it is a Windows command uh, for one kilobyte you're going to click on that it's going to uh, it's going to ask you um, to if you would like to run the pro the program you're going to hit run it's going to come up with this screen um, you're going to wait a minute it will not happen instantly you're going to want to wait a minute as the system loads and sometimes depending on what server you're running it'll depend on the speed all right so now I'm back up on this screen here all right. So now, at this time, you're gonna plug in. This is again the version 5.5. You're gonna plug this in to there to these three little prongs. You're gonna take your USB ASP setup, plug that in. You're gonna let me go back over here. You're gonna see the lights come on on it, which uh, hang on. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and you're going to see the lights come on. That means you're plugged in. You can also hear the little beep on your computer. So, now you're going to come down here, and I'm going to set mine up for a twin copter or a dual copter. You're going to leave this the same up top here under Choose Your Programmer, uh, USB ASP. Um, leave that the same port, USB ba uh, ba baud weight rate 19200. Leave that. Uh, choose your controller. For the version 5.5, you have to use KK Plus 5.5 D slash E at a 16 kilobyte flash. You have to use that. That's the only one that works on this setup. So now um, you do this drop down list. You have a like Y6, Y4, X copters, X6, uh, VTOLs, VTails, twin copter. So mine's going to be a twin copter. So I'm going to click on twin copter. Alrighty. Um, actually, let me make sure that's it. Uh, yep, twin copter. Okay. So then you can have a drop down menu here that has all your different firmwares you can download. Um, if you're going to do a twin copter, I strongly recommend you use um, twin copter version 2.9 XX control by, uh, by Minso Kim. Um, he or she has a very large selection of um, twin copters. So I'm going to click on that. Now it's that. Alright, you're going to go over here to this little green button. Make sure you guys can see that. Um, sorry for the poor quality again. But you're going to go over here to that little green button there and click on it. As you can see, that is now blinking. And if I zoom in, you'll see it is actually writing the software to the board and I believe it is completed flashing firmware was successful so there it goes again alrighty now my board is set up for a twin copter alright so say you have the wrong setup. Um, I'm just going to unplug this just to make sure I don't mess it up. Um, say you had a wrong setup and you did a, a Hobby King KK 2.0. Alright? 
if you were to try to flash the same software, um, open, I'm going to do a KK 2.0, uh, and then by Captain Cook, uh, if I were to start running this, it is still saying it's flashing. All this will come up in red. Um, this will happen too if you don't have the right setup or you choose your controller. If you don't have the right controller selected, this will come up as red saying it can't do it. So then you're going to go up there and select your proper firmware. So I will go into here in Twin Copter. Uh, I'm going to leave it on the same one, the KO by Min So Kim. Um, Min So Kim, I guess. Uh, and say you don't have it connected right, so I just have mine unplugged. Uh, you're going to put it in, and it's instantly going to come up as red. Saying, um, error during setting the fuses and flashing of firmware aborted. That means a connection is not correct. So, once you have flashed your board with what you want, um, you can just exit. And this will still stay on your screen for future times. Uh, so, again, uh, kkmulticopter.com, uh, they have all the stuff you'll need. And also, thank you guys at Flight Test um, for the great ideas, and uh, pretty soon I'll post a video of how this board works on a twin copter. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for watching.